We've got a nice big adult rattlesnake in here that we're going to try to capture and uh, check it out for snake fungal disease. tube this snake and um, so we can get a good hard look at it, we'll check it for fungal disease and then we'll um, pit tag it, permanently mark it and we'll release it back right back where we found it. Nice robust snake. Uh, not sure yet if it's a male or female. Could be a female. Has a broken rattle on it, which is quite typical. So the tricky part is getting them in the tube. Once they're in the tube, you can pretty much do whatever you want. It's no big deal. This animal out for evidence of snake fungal disease, which appear as lesions on the on the face and neck usually. Brown lesions on the ventral scales here. These ventral scales look all quite clean. This is a clean snake, which is a good sign. We like that. 21. Push it. Count so, it twice. Huh? Okay, female. So we got a female here. So we know this animal's missing at least 10 rattles. It's, every time the animal sheds, it, it, it lays down a rattle, a rattle segment, which is one of these rattles. Well, it's too late for this animal to be pregnant, and I know it's not. I don't believe it's had a litter this year. This is a permanent marker. It permanently identifies this animal. Sound. 